Hello there, welcome to Football on Five. Now, if you ever wonder just how cutthroat Championship life was, then it was illustrated perfectly when Alex Neil was sacked by Norwich on Friday night, less than 24 hours before his team was due to face Blackburn. Uh, we'll discuss that and bring you all the action from the EFL in the next 90 minutes. And sitting a little less comfortably in their seat. To believe they could do something, Lindsay. Mm, really done their playoff hopes. The world of good to say, Alan, do you think they can do it? Well, yeah, the, the problem they've got, they've got to climb above a couple of teams to, to get into that playoff spot. But the momentum's with them at the moment. And as the boys are saying, Simon Grayson has done a fantastic job there. On that and, budget. Absolutely. And they're playing with a lot of confidence. You can see what he's managed to achieve. It's a game, Alan. Wednesday starting to look a little bit vulnerable. Rafa's anniversary party a bit ruined, but Alan, just how good were, were Fulham today, in particular Ryan Sessignon? Well, I think anyone who's been... Uh, welcome back to Football on Five. Now, back on the opening day in August, Norwich hit four past Blackburn and many were predicting an immediate return to the Premier League. But seven months on and the board at Carrow Road have given up on that dream and decided on Friday that Alex Neil wasn't the man to take them up next season either. Alan Irvin was in charge for the visit of Tony Mo Five will get cracking with Skybet League One and the surprise package Fleetwood Town. After avoiding relegation on the final day of last season, Uwe Rosler's team now sits second thanks to an 18-match unbeaten run. Today they face four... Top four English leagues, we believe, since 1950, won Charlie Mitten, Manchester United Villa. There you are. <laughs> a, a nine minutes, that was. OK, our next roundup looks at the sides battling it out at the bottom. Yeah, no wins in nine has uh, seen Port Vale get sucked in a little bit to the relegation dogfight. Today they hosted Swindon, the side just a point above them.